We saw some warm weather this week. And that gets everybody talking about uh, global warming and climate change. And when we talk about climate change, sometimes we focus on the big issues. Well, in this story, we're going to focus on the little guy. When most people think of climate change, melting ice caps, powerful cyclones, and starving polar bears is usually what comes to mind. But for Trent University researcher and doctoral candidate Colin Garraway, something a little different comes to mind. Flying squirrels. Did he just say flying squirrels? Well, they're partic particularly sensitive to changing environments, and uh, Peterborough is a particularly good place to follow range expansions and contractions of flying squirrels. Okay, now it makes sense. Colin is currently conducting research to see if climate change and warmer winters are having any effect on our northern squirrel population here in Ontario, and his study has found some interesting results. Well, in Ontario, we have two species of flying squirrels, the southern flying squirrel and the northern flying squirrel, and... Uh, Recently, with warming climates, the southern flying squirrel is expanding its range into northern flying squirrel territory. Well, not all of the research takes place inside of a nice air-conditioned DNA lab, but fortunately for those who are working on the Kawartha Flying Squirrel Project here at Trent University, they don't have to travel very far to do the field research. Usually, no further than Algonquin Park, most of the research is actually done near Bob Cajun or right here on the Trent University grounds. Well, we trap our squirrels, we radio collar the squirrels to find nest trees. Um, we're interested in the genetic structure of the populations in Ontario and how climate change and range expansions and contractions affect the genetic structure of these animals. What we find in our surveys is that when populations of southern flying squirrels go up, typically populations of northern flying squirrels go down. And the reason for this drop in population, ironically, could be reproduction. With the expansion of this southern squirrel, these two species are nesting together, and then if it's during the winter, they're nesting together when they're mating together also. Yes, these two different species of rodents are getting busy. Great way to stay warm. Back in the lab, we find out why this little interspecies one-night stand could spell trouble. It looks like these two young species are hybridizing, and so they're mixing up their genetic structure. So what does hybridization mean for the flying squirrel? Well, in the worst case scenario, it's net loss of one species. So where you had two separate species, now you only have one species left. So you might say that the other two species are essentially extinct. It appears for these little creatures, climate change could spell big trouble. Jay Scotland, Checks News Watch, Peterborough.